can do this here. Dale Residence, 8.38 p.m. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Very empty for, uh... I'm all right. Oh. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they Chair. shot Alfred. Where they beat him. Blood on the floor. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? By pushing now it. let's find out where the Veils were hiding. A small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Hmm. It's like that movie, uh. Oh, crap, what's it called? I'm going inside. like two movies you also you have prisoners and then there's also the 9 the call I think it was let me guess they put her down here and chain them up and beat them Bruce what's down there do you see Alfred no it's some kind of torture chamber Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky, she was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? It's why she killed the Veils. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But I can't imagine what she went through. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. I saw his glasses on the ground. His blood is fresher than the rest. Also, that toy is like Alfred's. terrifying. Glasses. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is Literally different. A prisoner. Newer. Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. A belt. It's caked in blood. They're wrong. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Shackles. 
blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. One piece of charm from the others. Blue. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe. Figures fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? Yeah, right. Technically, so they, uh... Are highlighted. She will liberate. DC always has tended to be a lot darker, I think. I mean, if you think about it, everybody's parents is killed, and then they become a hero, you know? Alfred left me another clue. They just dumbed down the darkness a lot. But then they probably realized that so many more to people find. like to see the newest the talk. Meanings. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates, like they're running away. The words highlighted are, she will and liberate. She will liberate. I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. <laughs> I love it when DC engages their full darkness too though. Arkham Asylum 12 15 a.m. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it then. Boy. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Legacy. Batman. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his pain. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Oh boy. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Not again. Listen to me! Freedom is yours! 
The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me have him. He's the crazy one. Like dominoes. Batman! The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham, did you see her? They went. That way. <laughs> they went. These are always pretty cool. From into the door. Then the next one. Taser. And this guy. table meanwhile the Joker is just sitting there watching everything Victor. That's the plan. <laughs> oh. You're going to die. a pleasure to see your work in person. Jesus. He's drinking. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. All right. We're getting there. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> Oh man. Right 
to You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <sighs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wilson's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, Bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne. But first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. <laughs> You're doing so much for one old man. Day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You oh think boy. Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Crap. <sighs> I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am, who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am, who I need to be, to do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Go, 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 go. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you, you, you came, you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Interesting how you speak to him. 
So familiar? Alfred? <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. To prove that you care. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! Boom. No, Bruce. No regrets. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. Besides, no you're got covered talk. in blood very the fast. The only truth left is in your death. Take this rock. Did the whole twist and everything too. You belong in this place, Bruce. Lost, forgotten, buried, and Gotham 
will not mourn. The sins of the Wade bloodline end here. It's like, please don't call me, please don't call me, please don't call me. Saved him. A week later. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's Reign of Terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, on the day's Any work, Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I, I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose Had everything. To do it for you. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Gotham is safer now. I only hope the peace will last. We could all use some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue Gordon. tonight during an emergency uh, citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But He's missing a piece that... of his ears now. Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you, Alfred. 
So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Gotta go as Bruce. Pair the name and show the full support to the city. DCPD headquarters, 6.30 p.m. Commissioner Gordon, he is here. Commissioner Gordon, <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Okay, don't worry, it will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use, a chainsaw? So to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people, they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. Well, too bad he's not here. Wouldn't mind meeting him. Yeah? <laughs> well, he's not much of a talker. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father, but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man, heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, good, uh, public speaker. it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, Better off Arkham Asylum, a stronger Gotham police. A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need 
to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Oh, man. A new day in Gotham. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. Mm -hmm. See you soon, Brucey. There it is. Alright, let's see these odds. You and 76% of players distracted Penguin long enough for Gordon to get the job done. <laughs> I feel like it's probably kind of hard to not succeed. Uh, did you blame Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? You and 67 players uh, comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame. 27 told Alfred that it didn't matter who was at fault. 2.3 players blamed Alfred for not doing enough to stop him and 2.6 or 2.1 players did not respond as Alfred blamed himself. You and 91% of players regarded Selena as more than a thief. <laughs> wow, this odds. You and 73% of players removed your cow and revealed your identity. Wow. I, I was expecting that to be more like 50-50, but apparently not. Did you attend Gordon's uh, address as Bruce or Batman? Apparently 61% also showed up as uh, Bruce. Interesting. Analyzing your performance. Ah, your Batman, your Batman slash Bruce was collaborative. Defending Gotham is more than any single person should take upon themselves. It often requires a team of close friends and associates to be a powerful force for, uh, for good. That was 78 percent, 73 percent, uh, merciful, 61 percent cunning. And 72% passionate. Compassionate. Awesome. Alright, well that concludes Season 1 playthrough of uh, the Batman Telltale game. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to take a quick 5 minute break. Have a uh, quick snack and fill up my water. And then right after, uh, once I get back, get back. <laughs> 